Good day viewers all over the world. Welcome to another exciting edition of Setting Gospel Standard on Inter Television. I remain your host, Pastor Daniel Anyaluichi. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, I have my father in the Lord that will be sharing his view on the topic um, of setting um, gospel standard today. You're welcome, sir. My name is uh, Reverend Akinobala Robert Olawale from City of Faith International Ministry at Lasso Gate, Aradagun, Badagri. You're welcome, sir. Um, Daddy, today we are looking at um, setting gospel standard. What can you, um, can you share your view with our viewers all over the world on the topic setting gospel standard? There is what we call standard in God. Mm. In the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, those are the foundation of God, standard show. Yes, sir. And they that name the name, name, name the name of God should depart from inequities. Mm. The standard is there. The standard of God is there. The foundation is there. But like if the foundation, foundation can be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Mm. So God has a standard. And I believe that church are deviated from that standard now. Thank you very much, sir. Now let us look at dressing for Christians today. What can you tell our viewers all over the world as regards dressing? When we look at the dressing in the church today, the church has missed with the church, with the world, and the world has missed with the church. Mm. The dressing these days, you when you see a young lady in the church uh, exposing their body, exposing what they what's supposed to be uh, supposed to be uh, covered. The Bible was speaking in the book of Exodus chapter twenty-eight, verse two. There, it said, "And thou shalt make an holy garment mm. for Herod, thy brother, for glory and for beauty." Dressing is for beauty, to glorify God, to glorify the name of God. That is dressing. But these days, you see how our youth, how they expose their body, and you see a young guy uh, wearing trousers and uh, sagging the trousers. Very, okay. That's very uncomfortable. Okay. Um, Daddy, um, let us look at um, dressing. How does dressing affect Christians of this generation? Dressing affects Christians in this generation because the way you dress is the way people address you. The Bible was speaking that uh, uh, people are no longer reading the Bible. Yes, sir. They are reading us. Mm. And if they are reading us, if we are the living epistle, they are written in, in, their, in, in, in their heart. Yes, sir. So if we are dressing the way the world is dressing, then what differentiates what between, between, the world, between us and the world? Okay. It means that we are the same. Okay. So the, the standard is there. We're supposed to dress the way God has us to dress. Okay. To glorify the name of God, not to expose ourselves to to the world. So how do we justify the saying that says Christianity is the thing of the heart and not the physical thing, sir? Christianity is the thing of the heart. Yes, sir. But that does not mean that we should uh, dress to, 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 to please the world. Okay. Our dressing must please God. Okay. If our dressing is not pleasing God and we say Christianity is from the heart, it means that we are not doing the right thing. Wow. We are deviated from the way. Okay, the church sir. are deviated. Bible says we separate ourselves from the world. It says separate yourself. So there must be a sharp separation. Yes, sir. So what are, what, what are uh, Christians have to do with unbelievers? Why are we dressing like the worldly people? Mm. Bible said they saw they saw disciples in their talk. And they said these are the Christ because they saw the characters and the notes of Christ in them. Okay, and sir. they saw the way of Christ in them. Okay. So if the if we call ourselves a Christian and we are not dressing the way we're supposed to dress, it means that we are going we, we and we and the world, there is no difference between us and the and, and people in the world. Thank you very much, sir. So let us look at the old time dressing and the modern dressing of Christians of nowadays. What are your view on this dressing of the old time Christians and the modern time Christians, sir? The old time Christians, they dress to glorify the name of God. Okay, sir. But the modern Christians these days, they dress in order to please the world. Okay. Because there's no difference between them and the world. Okay. The, and that's why I said earlier that the world have entered the church and the church have gone to the um, entered the, and they, 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 they have gone to the world. Yes, sir. So there is no difference between the world and the and the church now. Okay. Because the standard is no more there again. Okay. Because in the old time they, we, 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 we we dress with the, the, the people in the world, I mean the world in the in the old time, they cover their body and they cover their nakedness. Okay. But these days we see uh, the way we are exposing ourselves to to, to, to the world. It's not it's very uncomfortable and it's not glorified God. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Now let us see. Some certain church allow certain dressing. 
Now, how can we set standard with Christians, or how can we set standard in Christendom with our dressing today? Some titles they allow Christianity because of the crowd. Okay. They are after the crowd. They, they, they are not after what the heavenly things. Okay. If we are running after the world, if, if we are here to run the heavenly race here, we must focus our attention on, on, on heaven. Okay. Not to win, not to not to gather multitude. Okay. What of uh, purpose of gather mo gathering multitude and you are not gathered there for kingdom of uh, kingdom of heaven. Okay. You are not gathered there for, for, for God. You are gathered there in order to maybe because of the, uh, the material things that you are going to gain from them. Hmm. So the world is going to the, the, there's no difference between the world and the church. and the church these days. Okay. So. Because, because some people do it in order to to, to, to get the material things, okay. not to please heaven. Okay. Uh, Daddy, are you telling our viewers all over the world that modesty defines a Christian? Modesty defines a Christian. The way you dress, the way people address you. The way you dress, the way people address the you. The way people address you. Thank you very much, sir. Our viewers all over the world, you've heard from uh, my father in the Lord, um, um, Reverend um, Robert Akinibola. He said that modesty is what defines. Christianity. Um, Daddy, please, can you tell our viewers all over the world how to contact me at number two, Lasso Gate, uh, Aradagun, Badagri. When you are coming from uh, uh, Seme, you drop at Aradagun bus stop, you take a bike to Lasso Gate, then you, the church is behind the Lasso Gate there. And when you are coming from my two, you drop at Aradagun, then you take a bike to Lasso Gate. My phone number is 070 3579 070 30 21 35 79. God bless you all. Thank you very much, viewers all over the world. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful edition of Setting Gospel Standard on Inter Television. Join us, same time, same moment, and same station. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye bye.